Hello there guys, welcome to Dave's Tutorials. This video is for text basics in Word 2010. What we're going to show you here is how to basically enter text and stuff like that. Now notice here, we're having a look at this, this little thing that's flashing. That little thing that is flashing is what we refer to as the cursor. And anything that you enter comes in from the cursor. So if we were typing text, notice that it comes in and the cursor moves over to the right. When you press enter, notice the cursor moves down twice. Okay, So literally, that's where your cursor is positioned now. So if I now copy some data in there, Notice it come in from where the cursor was and it's scrolled down there and it's come down there at the bottom there. So basically your insertion point, you've got to keep your eye on it at all points. Some people call it the insertion point, some people call it the cursor. But wherever you insert, or place the cursor, sorry, the text will insert like so and notice that the text moved to the right to make way for it if I put a picture in it would come in from the position of that insertion point or cursor depending who you're talking to would depend what they would call it basically deleting text the most easiest way to delete text is select the text that you want to delete and just press delete that simple. If you do delete text and you want to just literally do it character by character, you can use the backspace key on the keyboard and that will delete to the left. Notice one character at a time. Okay. If you use the delete key, del, D -E -L, that one will go to the right, so that deletes to the right. Again, one character at a time. But again, it's just knowing that you can delete on the keyboard. If you highlight a word, okay, and then delete, that's how most people do it. But the choice is yours, basically. If you're deleting quite a lot of text, then it's just better to just highlight what you want. Yeah, say like that, for instance, and then just say, right, delete this and take the whole lot out but it is just simple as that to delete. Navigation. When you're navigating your text it's just a matter of down arrow key will take you one line down at a time. Can you see the cursor there? Watch. There's the cursor. One line down or one line up. Okay. Yeah. If you're in the middle of a line, right arrow key, one character, and left is one le along there. Okay, simple as that, basically. Or you can just literally click in here and click in there, yeah, and just position your insertion cursor on your mouse. Uh, the little insertion point will just move into where you want to go. This on the mouse is called the beam, and if you put the beam between two characters, O and R in this case, I will now click and that will position the cursor in between the O and the R. Likewise here, look, T and I, and I click there, and it's in the T and I, I need my glasses on. <laughs> and then here, N and E, N and E. So literally, I can just point the cursor wherever I want and click, and that's where it will put it in. If I've got a big document and I want to go um, navigate down the big document I've got two choices I can use page up and page down now basically what a lot of people don't understand about when they're navigating in Word the page up they think it's a page it isn't a page as in in the document it's a page on screen so if you do page up it'll go to the beginning and then down to the bottom of the screen where if you do control page up and page down that will take you one page at a time so basically it'll go from page one top of page one 
control page down will go to the top of page 2, control page down will go to the top of page 3, where if you're using just page down on its own, it'll only go a page on the screen. Uh, have a little play with it and you'll understand what I'm talking about. Uh, I can't because I haven't got me me application full screen because I'm recording it so it's just a little bit harder but have a little play with it and see what we're talking about um, also you can use the cursor key uh, your keyboard sorry you do control end will take you to the very end of the document and control home will take you to the very beginning of the document again nice and easy way um, of selecting your text as well now when you come to selecting text you can just click your cursor click where you want to start and just hold the mouse and drag the mouse down and it'll just follow you and you can go anywhere you want and as long as you know where you want to go from start to finish you can just click and drag if I want to go from experience down to interface sorted if I want to do an entire line, I just come along here. And notice as I move my mouse further over to the right, uh, sorry, to the left, notice the pointer comes and it's pointing to the right. That's where I'm, I'm in an area now of Word called the selection bar. Now when I click, notice that's the entire line. Now if I want more than one line, I just click and drag down. And notice now I can do as many lines as I wish. Yeah, that is a nice tidy little way some people just want to do a word so if I go to the word second and click me now if I double click notice that's the word if I triple click that's the paragraph so some people like to select with the mouse it just depends what you want to do basically so double click is word triple click is mouse have a little play with it if you're doing it in the selection bar you just double click and that's click once for line double click for paragraph if you want to do more than one paragraph you have to just click and then just drag down like so yeah if you want to do it by keyboard you place your cursor where you want just hold the shift key and use your arrow keys and as long as you keep hold of the shift key you'll notice that that is just like selecting up where you want to go so you can also do it by keyboard as well if you wish yeah nice and, and easy you've got a choice have a little play with them see what you think um, and find the best way for you some people say to me oh Dave what's the best way of doing that I can't answer that guys because it depends on yourselves some people like to use the keyboard so in that case it would be the keyboard method of doing it if some people like to use the mouse for them it would be the mouse way of doing it so whatever suits yourself that is the best way that you would go for yourself yeah now that's your selection now when you work in um, in the big document now I'm just gonna put some it in here guys right okay uh, hey, yeah that's it and we'll say the end okay now the reason I'm putting that in basically is because I want to show you something imagine this document okay is a massive big document imagine it's like you know 23 24 pages long okay and we want to move some text i.e that end to the bottom of the document but imagine it was 28 pages something as big as that now all you do is you click this little fella here can you see it up here this is what you call your split screen you click and hold the mouse you drag it down to so you can see and then you let go now what this has done this has split the screen now all I do I click in the bottom area and I scroll down and notice now it's letting me see the bottom of the document I now can see two different areas of the screen at the same time I'm looking at the top of the document in here where I'm highlighting this text now if I do cut yeah control X I would have used and then I click it here and then I just do paste notice bingo it's moved it from here to here now that's with ease guys fantastic but if I show you the distance now look at that 
that is just as simple as it is yeah so the actual split screen guys absolutely fantastic it's that little button there now you can also get to it view split here in the windows group look down here windows split you click it that will give you a little pointer you click and hold you click down here scroll down to where you want to go yeah now just imagine that we want to go there and I want to take this paragraph of text here that's it yeah so I just go there and then I just copy it I place my cell pointer there paste it in bingo how cool is that now to remove the split view tab again remove split there it is look it's just gone pretty much that simple yeah and that is how you work on long documents with the split screen yeah when you're working in word this is just a little word of warning guys when you're working in word you've got to select the text now some people call this selecting and some people say highlight the text it's the same thing just different terminology okay so whether it's selection or highlighting it doesn't matter how they say it to you but if you select the text and then you go and you do some formatting on that text so let's for instance we're going to change the color to red we're going to make it bold okay now if you leave that selection on and you don't remove that selection and then somebody comes along and just touches the keyboard you've just lost that block of data it's as quick as that okay so what I'm stressing and I can't stress it enough for you when you highlight or select a block of data you execute the command that you want to do on that data and then you remove that selection you must do that because if you don't you will lose that data at some point because it will get overwrought yeah it's in the options in in the backstage view go to options uh, and it's in there but you've got to have a little look and be careful of it so what my rule of thumb is select the data execute the command remove the highlight and then you're pretty safe that's it for now that's your text basics um I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it informative. Don't forget to check my other videos out guys and don't forget like I say in all my videos if you subscribe with us we do take requests from you so if you want to know how to do something in particular just subscribe drop us a line you know how do I do tables how do I do mail merge whatever and we'll do you a video just as soon as we can. Thank you very much for your time thanks for watching don't forget to check my other videos. Thank you bye.